Hello guys, welcome back to Big LT. Today I I wanted to make a video about weird beacons on towers. Not like um, not weird like the half dual, half strobe, half LED um light that um that uh, TWR makes. I'm not talking about those. I'm just talking about your average beacons, but with malfunctions and um. It's just a little off, so um, let's start with one of my all-time, what used to be one of my all-time favorite towers. I have no nickname for this tower, but it's it's a it's a unique tower. It it had a unique beacon on it until 2018. Um, this tower used to have a a flash guard 3000B. Um, from Huey and Phillips, since I'm actually able to pronounce Huey now, so Huey and Phillips Flash Guard 3000B. That's what that's what I used to have. It is it's a it's a dual strobe. Usually dual strobes they flash white at day, all day, and then red at night, all night. This tower here took that well the beacon on this tower here just took the. Um, it took the that the day mode and just turned the tables on it. it. Just said, "I don't, I I make the rules here. You don't." And the beacon, it switched from it, it would switch from day mode to night mode every minute or so, every minute or two. I don't remember. I think it was every minute. I don't, I don't know, but I remember them being pretty long and and. It'll do that multiple times th throughout the day until until night mode. Even though it's on, it, it switches to day mode, night mode all day. But night mode just switches to night mode permanently. Just stays like that. I went to my. I went to my, what one of my aunt's house um that lives in Houston and um. I got to see two towers at well two I should say well two special towers at day and night. The first one is this one I got to see at day, with day mode and night mode when I drove by here at day. Um, so yeah, at that time it was switching from day to night mode over and over every minute. And the other tower, the other special tower is in. Houston, it is it, it um actually, I think you're able to see a little bit of the tower from a distance here, at the right view. But if not, then I'll just talk about it. So, oh, there it is. You see that little tower in the background? I'm pretty sure that's the tower. So, that tower that you see behind all those trees. That tower used to have uh, uh, three single strobes, one on white only single strobes, one on top and two in the middle, with three uh, modern incandescent beacons, one on top and two in the middle, right in, right next to where the where the strobes were. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that it was built in 1993. I think that's what. Um, I think that's um, what Antenna Search told me. The, it just told me the date. It was 1993. I don't know if dual strobes existed then. But um, it did have... If I don't know if they ever exist. I don't know if dual strobes were around in the 90s. But this tower did not have any. Uh, it just had a single, had, had single strobes and... Modern incandescence, which made the tower unique. Uh, um, the, I, I think it was 2017, but in 2017, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's the year that this happened, but 2017, I, me and my, me, my family, my grandma, my, my grandparents as well, we went to Houston to go to, um, one of our favorite Chinese places, and, and when I was there, I noticed that the it, it was, 
it had LEDs, yes. But at the time, I was just really hoping that the strobes on it were just stuck on night mode. As I look back on that, I I really wonder how dumb I was back then, since strobes on single strobes on night mode, no matter if red or white on a sunny day or overcast like it is on here, you won't be able to see them, unless if you're really, really close to them, like this tower here. This tower, no matter if on if you if you drove past it on a sunny day or a um or an overcast day, you're still able to see the the red strobe on it flash. Rarely, but you, you could still see something. But um, but that t the tower here and, and, and often distance is like farther away from the highway, so. You wouldn't be able to see the strobes on night mode. So, um, I was very dumb back then. I, but, um, I was just really, really hoping that that was the case. Because I did not want this tower to have LEDs. Well, back in 2019, me and my family went to my, to my cousin's house. We just stayed there all day and all night. Which gave me... Big chance, which um gave me the one and only chance to see this tower on night mode. I did, and and um, I saw it from a distance, and um, this tower here is the only tower in Houston that, well, uh, the tower actually no, it's not. It's at it's a sec it's a the second only tower in Houston to have more than one beacon, and I saw the crappy night mode flash in the distance with, and um yeah. And that's why I found that's why I found out that I had LEDs. I was I was pissed. I did not like that. Yeah. But this is not um Yeah, I got into detail with that tower even though I was only mentioning it. Back to this tower. Um after I Oh, um I'm going to talk about something else with this tower when um Back when me and my family were at my um my aunt's house, we well my uh, it's a not a house it's a trailer but um she lived at a trailer house that was uh very close to this tower. You're able to, it was very very close. So I I remember it, the sun was setting. I was see I was looking out the window watching the tower. And I got and I I watched it switch to night mode and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. <clears throat> it was really cool. I wish I could I wish I could see that again. But my aunt no longer lives in that trailer and uh, the tower no longer has those beacons, so I'll never see it again. All right, back to this tower. After we left, it was pitch black, and um, we drove past this tower here, which was on night mode. And I was just waiting for the day mode strobe to just activate and just make and just look like like lightning in the sky. I was just waiting for that, but to my disappointment, the tower was the tower the beacon was permanently on night mode for the rest of the night. So that's when I found out that the it, it switching from day mode to night mode is a is a day only thing. Yeah. Um, I was not happy when I found out that, um, this, the beacon on here was replaced. It, even though um, it, the beacon that, the LED beacon that it has now is a old school LED, but that still doesn't excuse the fact that I hate the beacon. If it's an old, if it's an old school LED, be old school LED beacons, I, um, they're my favorite type of. LED beacon since they have the best night mode. They have the, the dual strobe light night mode. So yeah, that's the reason why I love them. So yeah, even even though it replaced the beacon that I really really loved, I well it did. Well, even if it's an old school LED, it's on my list of most hated beacons in the world. This per that one personal beacon by itself. It's one of the most hated beacons ever by me, because they were because they replaced another beacon that was that had a, that had like a 
a one and only like it, it would switch from today to in night mode every every minute i'm pretty sure this tower was the only tower that had that malfunction maybe maybe there's another one out there somewhere but to my knowledge it's the only one in the world that i known of so <laughs> yeah i was not happy i was not happy and then um a new tower was built here and uh it got um it got one it got one one platform and this one has two but it got one platform with in, with cell antennas on it and stuff and like a like the last time that was the one time I saw it and then the the last time I saw it um the platform on the the top platform on this tower has been removed I blamed the new tower for it but when I found that out um. I put I put that LED trouble um in the back and just started raging at at the the new tower because I was just like this is the new tower's fault. They did this to this tower. How could how could it? Man, I was really happy that this tower well, there's three towers on 63 that were built next to three older towers and this is just the second one. But um all three towers got um and got antennas on them and and like around that time the the other three older towers lost their very top antenna and yeah that's just one of them that met that unfortunate fate i'm not happy about it uh you know what uh, back in back in 2000 i wish um I really, really wish I had footage of the of the tower when it had its strobe light to prove that it's real. I don't want people thinking that I'm trying to fake it so I can be so I can be unique with towers. I'm not trying to do that. I'm, this is the truth. This tower had a unique beacon, and um, I never recorded it. To my knowledge, I never recorded it with the beacon on it, or maybe I have. I'll. I'll make sure, but uh, I pro I probably didn't. Nah, probably not. But still, if I if I do have any video, I'll try to um, upload it to YouTube. But right now, I don't have any video that I know of. So I hope you guys can believe me about this entire beacon situation, because it is real. It's real. So yeah, and that's just one tower with a beacon problem. So here's the next beacon problem. The second Lowe's tower has uh, this is the second Lowe's tower. Uh, built in 1999, and, and uh, the first Lowe's tower here is built in 1990. So. I like how the first Lowe's Tower was built in the beginning of the 90s, and this one here was built in the end of the in the very last year of the 1990s. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There used to be a monopole here that just stood right here, but it's no longer here. This used to be a trio, but now it's just a duel. So. Yeah, I don't know when the monopole was built, but I did see some rust spots on it. So maybe it's much older than both these towers. So, let's talk about the beacon problem. The beacon problem is is that the day mode strobe, it, it switches in the strobe light, it switches to night mode when it's pitch black. Like the sun is the sun could already be the sun has been set and the and the tower would still be on it'll still be on day mode it'll just take a while for it to it'll just really take a while for it to switch to night mode. I even got a video of the tower um it was it was pitch black and uh it was still on day mode here I'm gonna show you. Alright, so here is a video. I'm going to I'm going to do real something real fast. Um my phone is my phone is is um my my phone is new, 
but it can't handle 1080p. I have no idea why, but it just just can't handle it. I'm just going to go to uh, like 7p, 720p. All right. So um, sorry for the. Oh, there it is. All right. As you can see, it's still on day mode and it's pitch black outside. I. I dimmed the screen on my phone while recording, um, so I can so I can show so I can show the viewers um, what it actually looks like in real life, because in real life the um, that street that um, parking lot light is not is not just taking up the entire screen with its light. So um, yeah, and the towers you're you're not able to see them that the the you're not able to see them at at in the dark but in the video you are so yeah it's um yeah it's uh, hard to say but the tower is still on day mode so yeah that's uh that's one problem with the it's one problem with the beacon here here's another problem that I know of all right here's the other problem Oh, it's still on day mode on this. Oh, it just switched. Okay, so here is the next problem. The markers tend to not work on certain days. Like, um... Okay, my phone's loading. So, um... Back, like, back in January, the markers on the, on the Lowe's Tower, the second Lowe's Tower, just completely stopped working. And it was, it's been like that for, uh, I don't know how long, may, I think it may have been until July, but it just, it wouldn't, they would not work, but, um, here, I have no choice, I got to switch to 360p, alright, so, um, the markers start working again, but nowadays, like it, it feels like the the markers work every other day. Is they weren't working in this video, but they were working in other nights before this. Uh, yeah, I, oops, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. I wish that can be fixed, but um. Yeah, that's uh, two beacon problems with the the second Lowe's Tower. Oh, and here's a fact about the Lowe's Tower. It re the beacon on the tower refuses to go on emergency night mode. So here, let me explain. So um, here is one fact about the the Lowe's Tower. Oops. So um, it refu the beacon refuses to go on night mode well emergency night mode yeah so um the tower there, there there's like a, i remember three nights where the beacon on the tower was stuck on um was stuck on day mode um i don't know maybe we, it may have been because uh the red strobe was not working and uh maybe it was that but it was most likely because of a glitch and the red strobe was still working, but yeah, it was still on day mode uh, for like three nights, I remember. And then there was another time where, um, it, this was more recent. Um, this here is more recent. Like I remember, like it, it, I think it may have been a weekend or a week or just a few days, but the the day mode strobe was not working, but. It was it was switched to night mode. Well, the the night mode strobe will start flashing red, right at the time where the day mode strobe was would shut off and the red strobe would start flashing. So, yeah, the it it would it the day mode wouldn't work, but the night mode would work, and it did that for a little bit. I don't know why, but it was pretty cool. Um, if I would have known that I was going to start a YouTube channel in the future, I would probably record it. A day and night, but um, I never did that. So yeah, it this here will not go on emergency night mode, 
And there's a there's one night where the beacon wouldn't work at all. Nothing would work except for the markers. The markers were flash. The markers were on, but the beacon was not. It wouldn't flash at all. No day mode. No night mode. No emergency night mode. Yeah, it, it was weird. This tower. This tower here has a be. It really does have a a beacon malfunction history. And um, I I did there's a I had a dream a few weeks ago. Uh, me and my family were um, were going to Lowe's and the sun was setting. The tower was on day mode. I saw it switch over to night mode. It went on emergency night mode then, but the white strobe was not flashing on emergency night mode. The red strobe acted. The red strobe activated and started flashing like a white only single strobe. So, uh, yeah, and the markers actually worked as well. So that's all I remember from the dream. Yeah, even in my dreams, the tower refuses to go on emergency night mode. So yeah, I never seen this on emergency night mode ever in my life. I really hope I uh, I really hope I will I will one day see it on emergency night mode one day. I don't know if that will happen because uh, every single tower in my area the beacons are being replaced with modern LEDs and all that stuff. So um um like there there are four towers in Rolla that have strobes and this here's one of them. Yep. Only four towers. The rest of the towers that have beacons are LEDs or incandescents. Like, we only have two towers with incandescent beacons, and one of them don't even work. So, yeah, that's sad. So, yeah, hopefully one day I'll see this on emergency night mode. And, um, yeah. Um, I don't know if it, I don't know when it'll get replaced with an LED, but... Here's something that I really hope that doesn't happen when that happens. I don't want this tower having flashing side markers. For all my life, I've known these two towers for this one flashing white only. And this one flashing red with steady markers. And this one doesn't have any um, white only strobes and LEDs. They don't come with white only markers that don't... Yeah, they don't do that. That's just cursed oops um yeah i always asked that question back then like why do red strobes always get red markers but white strobes always they never get either white markers or red markers like they never do and i always ask that but now i'm glad that they don't do that i'm very happy they don't do that uh even though that um yeah, it is a question I have. Like, even though the tower doesn't shine red, why does it not have red markers or something? Like, I would imagine it being. I would imagine the tower being more safer with red markers. But um, yeah. So if the tower gets an LED with flashing sign markers, it will completely ruin the way I see these two towers now. This tower was already ruined with an LED. It used to have a um it used to have a single strobe that would flash three times every like every five seconds. So um yeah, it would flash three times every five seconds. It'll just stop flashing. And once those five seconds are up, it'll flash three times again. And then on it, it wouldn't do that on night mode. Night mode was a normal quick flash white only night mode so um yeah the the led here the day mode and night mode are um technically the same but the day mode is 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 supposed to be brighter but the day mode on this led is not bright at all only on overcast days but it's just not oops it's just, it's just not bright but it's really only useful at night it really is um, I seen it switch over from day mode to night mode back when I was in Walmart. The it was an overcast day, so you're able to see the strobe. You're able to see the LED more, 
So yeah, it was flashing. And then out of nowhere, um, the the beacon just got it just got dimmer. It just got really really dimmer. So I was just like, oh, so it does have a night mode. Because before that day, I thought that the the day mode and I thought that the day mode and night. I thought it had no night mode. I thought it only had a day mode that is used for day and night. So that's what I always thought. So yeah. Currently, this tower still has its strobe light. Thank God. Um, if you guys are wondering why I make video, why I always make videos of these two towers all the time even though i already have videos of these two towers already the reason why is because i want to get as much footage of this tower with its strobe light before it before it eventually gets replaced with an led because strobes don't last forever they eventually die and yeah it's it's a sad fate but nothing lasts forever and that sucks, especially for, for, um, in tower enthusiasts like us. All right, here's the third tower with a beacon problem. So, this tower here, uh, it's a red and white uh, microwave tower. I still don't know the proper name of these black things, but um, yeah, it's a it's a red and white tower. It it has a flash tech no, no well, actually I think it is a flash technology but it has some sort of white only single strobe from some company. All I know is that it has the shape of it has the shape of a flash technology three ten um, single strobe. Um, for years this tower has been stuck on night. I mean it's been stuck on day mode. And yeah, it um this this beacon here has um has has earned a title for it. Um why is Aiden show me a tower before with a dual strobe and he and um he said it was it, the 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 demo strobe was the brightest ever it was the the world's brightest strobe ever. Well, let, well hear this. This here is the world's dimmest strobe light ever. It is very dim. You're not able to see it at day on. A, you're not able to see it on a sunny day. I don't know about overcast days, but maybe you're able to see it more since the sun is not pointing at the beacon and giving off that light. So maybe you're able to see it more then. But usually, when I drive by it, the only time I see it flash on demos when I. When we when we pass it and just direct and why directly look up at it so yeah but um I did see this tower a few times at night and it it was stuck on it was stuck it was still stuck on day mode like there's one time where um I seen big I seen a big flash in the sky and I thought it was lightning and then I realized that we we're just driving past this tower here and I was just like oh I see. So yeah, the the beacon on here may be dim at day, but it was really really super bright at night. It's current it um currently it, it no longer has this problem. It it flashes on day mode and night mode. It, the the night mode um has like a a 0.3 second flash, I think. It had a bent 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 yeah, it yeah, it's it's similar to it's similar to a a day mode on an LED beacon. That's all I can say. So yeah, it has that night mode on it. So yeah, I have no idea if it used to have a incandescent beacon. There is no sign. I I see no markers on the tower. So maybe this strobe by is the original beacon on the tower. I don't know what year it's been built, but it is red and white, so it may be older than I think. I th I believe that this is from nineteen from the nineties, so or the eighties maybe late late eighties. So yeah, I'm gonna show you another tower. So here is another tower with a beacon problem. This here is older Street View. 
If you don't know already, this tower was modified in 2017. It currently has a um, the um, it currently has a top piece on it. Well, it already has a top piece on it. As you can see, that's where the horns go. But um, another top piece that's been put on the tower, making the tower taller. So um, it was required to for this tower to have a beacon. It it got an LED. Uh, th yeah, my grandpa told me about this. It, he said that oh hey um one uh, hey um that one tower got a, ha it now has a has a flashing light on it, and um I was just like which one? And he said the red and white one. I was just like but there's three red and there's like four um like four out of the six towers on Ohio highway are red and white. And he said that he told me that it's a. I I don't remember which one he said, but I think he told me that's the one that's closer to licking. And then that's when I realized that it was this tower. So yeah, I saw I, I got to see it. Um, on day mode, I got to see it on with its modification. It's a, it's a repurposed tower. It now has more. Um, it has uh, it has uh, microwaves on it now the um the led is a white only led yes i yep yeah, uh, the almighty the all rare white led yeah i thought it was a red L i thought it was a white and red led until i saw it at night and i was just i was mind blown holy crap but like um the lowe's tower with its white only led that was the very first time i seen a white only led but um for the longest time, I always thought that they, that 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 was just the that was just a single strobe that was stuck on that was stuck on night mode. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that that um these that these LEDs ever existed. So yeah, yeah, I saw it on night mode. It has like a it has a slower flash on night mode. Like it has a burn, burn, burn. Yeah, something like that. I think it's a. Um, why is Aiden told me that it's a Horizon LED? They're very rare, and um, I never know that they made white only for a Horizon um, LEDs. I don't know if they make red only Horizon, aka night mode only LEDs, well, night mode only Horizon LEDs. Hopefully they do, but I I don't know about it. So um, yeah, um, it's been. It's currently stuck on night mode, so you're not able to see it flash at you're not able to see it flash at day mode that that good. I'm really really want the problems to be fixed really badly. I'm tired of seeing the I'm tired of seeing the beacon stuck on night mode. I want I want it to be stuck I want it to be on day mode again. So yeah, that's a beacon problem. So yeah, there. All right, here is the next tower beacon problem. And disclaimer, I I'm not very sure if this tower is the right tower to that has this malfunction. Well, it's not really much of a malfunction, but um here, let me let me tell you. So, this has incandescent beacons on it. There's uh there's some markers. There's the first set of incandescent beacons. I'm pretty sure they're um old school incandescents but there's two of them on the side there's more markers up here then there's another incandescent beacon up there um when i when i seen this tower at day i was just like eh it's just normal radio tower um yeah me me my dad and a few friends went to a 49ers game since we love the 49ers uh so yeah we went there we went to St. Louis to see it since they're battling the Ram. They're they're playing against the Rams, so yeah. We went there. And I saw this tower at night because when we um when me, my dad and my and, and our friends headed out to the to the game, it um it was dark, so yeah. I got to see the tower flash. So here's the problem. Both the top the the top beacon and the bottom beacons they flash separately. Like one beacon will flash and then these fl would flash 
right after. Like, um, usually all three beacons are supposed to flash at the very same time. But these, but this, the beacons on here are not doing that. I don't know why. I don't know if it's ever going to get fixed. Um, but yeah, that's the very first time I've ever seen something like that before. So, um, there are at least two towers I know of that look similar to this here. Uh, so there's another one here. Um, I don't know, but, um, but, um, one of them has LEDs, one on top and two in the middle, just like this one with its, with its um, incandescence. And, um, I'm telling you right now, that's a very, very bad sign. Um, the reason why is because, may, because, um, I don't know if it's either this tower or the other tower that I'm talking about. It has, one of these have LEDs. I really hope it's not this one here. But it may be. I really hope not. But currently, I don't know. I think it may be a different tower. I think it may be taller than this one. But I remember seeing one with LEDs. I didn't think much of it then. I thought they were original to the tower, which, um... I start. I I question that. I really do. Why would I think that's original to the tower? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, but it's a very very bad sign. So yeah, this here is the last tower with a beacon problem. So there's that. And before I end the video, I want to show you something else. So. There is another tower here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it or not here. Um, it may be somewhere. Ooh, there it is. Now, I was just playing with you guys. Uh, I I already known where this tower was, but um, let's get closer to it. Oh. Ah, crap. Google Maps won't let me. Never mind, I'll just back up. Alright, well, these traffic lights were blocking it, the tower, so. The, the, this U.S. bank tower had, well, this U.S. bank building has a small tower on top. It's on the far left, as you can see. It looks like a radio tower. It has radio antennas on it. But, um, it has a flash technology dual strobe. Has, uh, one on top. What? Well, and um, it has side markers in the middle of the tower. And then there's more markers on the building itself. It, it's really, really cool. Uh, I, yeah, I've seen it both at day and night. Since there, we stayed at a hotel down here that was close to this, to this tower. And um, I got to see it at day and night. One day I'm going to make a video of this tower. Hopefully the beacon has not been replaced because... I love this beacon here. And if it got replaced with a modern LED, then there is no saying if it's going to have steady markers. It's it's going to have flashing side markers. You already know that. So, um, yeah. There's that. That's just a bonus. That's going to be... I'm going to make a video of this little tower in the future when, when I go back to St. Louis. Well... I'm going to end this this video. It's been going on way too long. Bye.